Hi everybody, this is Matt. Thanks for watching and welcome back. The Beretta 92, an iconic firearm, which you and I have seen for years, actually decades, in movies and on television. So here's a quick rundown of the Beretta 92, what I like, what I don't like about it, and why this may or may not be a proper firearm for you to consider for going to the range, home defense, plinking, you name it. So let's just get started here. This is chambered in 9mm, so it's 9 by 19 standard dado round, 4.9 inch barrel, all metal construction except for a few parts that are polymer. This one happens to be a G model, which is the decocker only. So if you look here at traditionally what we would call the safety on a Breda, See how that springs back up? It's because it's the G model, it's the decocker. So here, I can decock it just like I can a classic Sig Sauer, like a P229 or a P226. I like that. I, I, I love that in uh, the double action, single action pistols. Really, really do. Otherwise, this gun, ergonomically, it fits my hand very well, which is always a big, big thing for me. I can get a high tang grip with no problem. My hand just automatically comes right up underneath that beaver tail, and I can index it very well. I get good purchase on it. That's one thing that I really like about this firearm. For some people, however, they don't like they reach on the trigger. They don't like the fact that it's an inch and a half wide and maybe the grip panels are a little bit too thick for them. So there are aftermarket grip panels that are available that are extremely thin that can help make this so it feels a little bit better to people with smaller hands. Uh, standard out of the box, the double action pull on this is generally a pretty consistent, you know, 12 pounds. Um, that's one thing about this. It, you don't see wide variances in trigger pull weights, so that's good. And then double action, about 12 pounds out of the box. Single action for me is around five pounds, so that part of it's good. Now, for the downside, I like the ability to change the sights on a handgun. I don't care what handgun it is, because I like having night sights or fiber optic. And if you see here on the standard Beretta 92, we don't have the option to change that front sight. You have to go to like a Brigadier model or something else uh, in order to do that because this is just built right in. So if you want to change sights, no can do on this particular model. So you're going to have to fork out a little bit more for a different design. Uh, what else can I tell you about this? The magazine release button is hard for me to trip, so usually what I have to do to drop a magazine is I need to break my grip slightly, and how I do that is I'll use a finger to actually roll so I can then get a better purchase on that button. Now, I know that they make aftermarket parts for it. I've just never put that in uh, this Beretta 92. Haven't really seen the need to. When it comes to concealed carry, I have no problem carrying this concealed. It works just fine. It's a very accurate pistol. This is enjoyable for me just to go to the range and shoot it because I like historical firearms. I like firearms that uh, were in the military of the United States that you know served with our soldiers. So a 1911, something like this Beretta, I like that. Um, I like anything that's classical, that's historical, and I have my own personal history with Berettas because uh, decades ago I carried a little Beretta Tomcat as a backup gun. So. I can't really say anything bad about the Beretta because I like them. Um, the only thing I wish was that I could change that front sight. But it's very accurate. Uh, it does fit my hand very well. 
I can get good purchase on it. Recoil management is not a big issue, but you have to be aware that this is a sizable gun. So if you want to carry it concealed or something, uh, it's sizable. It's about the size of a 1911. So I could take a 1911, put them side by side, and the bread is a little bit thicker than that. But if you can carry it comfortably, if you want to carry it, it's up to you. But this is a very fine firearm. They're reasonably priced. Uh, you don't have to do a lot to them to make them shoot accurately out of the box, just because they are accurate out of the box. Uh, anyway, my two cents. I don't really have anything else to say about it because they just simply work. Works for me, works for a lot of people. It's worked for police departments uh, all over the world. So it might work for you. Check it out, the Beretta 92. So there you have it. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, everybody be safe out there and have a good one.